So if we just check the reactions of alkynes, so the first method is like when alkynes treated with a excess of halogen in presence of a carbon tetrachloride as a solvent, okay, it gives tetrahaloalkene. So students, you can compare over here. So while discussing the alkenes reactions, I used halogen in presence of CCl4, okay, alkenes when treated with the halogen, it gives dihaloalkenes, but here the difference is that I am using the word excess, okay, so when alkynes treated with the excess of halogen, the same halogenation will go through over here, okay, but instead of dihaloalkenes, what I am going to get, the tetrahaloalkene, so you can compare like this, okay, this is the one method, common method for the alkenes and the alkynes, only here the excess of halogen will be used okay so the next one is when alkynes treated with the water okay when hydrolysis of a alkynes is done in presence of either dilute h2so4 or a mercuric sulfate in pres like at a temperature around 338 kelvin it gives either aldehyde or ketone so dear students most of the questions will appear based on this method okay alkynes when treated with the water that is hydrolysis of alkynes in presence of a dilute h2so4 and the mercuric sulfate gives respective aldehyde or ketone okay very important method over here so the next one is alkynes when treated with a hydrogen halide okay alkynes when treated with a limited hydrogen halide it gives dihaloalkenes okay dihaloalkenes so same thing we have discussed for the alkenes as well that is when alkenes treated with the hydrogen halide it gives respective alkyl halide since there is a, a, a single double bond is present so here you could see the two pi bonds uh, you could see in case of alkene so for that reason it gives what dihaloalkenes okay next alkynes when treated with a hydrogen over nickel okay that is hydrogenation of alkynes in presence of a nickel gives what alkenes okay so alkynes can be directly converted into alkane listen alkynes can be directly converted into alkane when the excess of hydrogen is added when the limited hydrogen is added alkynes are converted into a double bonded alkane when excess of hydrogen is added it next converted into an alkane so both methods are same over here on how much hydrogen will go into add that decides whether alkenes will be formed or alkenes will be formed okay then the last method is that when the alkynes when the alkynes undergo cyclic polymerization when the alkynes this is very important there is like how the benzene will be formed over here okay when alkynes undergo cyclic polymerization okay in presence of red hot tube Okay. In the red hot tube, if we take alkynes and we carry out the polymerization at 873 Kelvin, we will going to get what? The respective aromatic hydrocarbon. It starts with a benzene preparation. Okay. So, these are the reactions of alkynes. Very simple methods through which we can and you have to remember what? The reagents over here. Okay. So, in all the reactions from the alkynes, what we have taken, you could see repeatedly the appearance of a hydrogen over nickel and you could see the presence of a halogen the halogenation dehydrohalogenation hydrolysis okay and the presence of hx so these all things you have repeatedly observed so if you practice then it will sit in your mind then you can apply when the questions will appear so in the in my next video i'm going to discuss the questions based on these concept that's been asked in the previous year so how you can apply this one we will just check okay thank you